There are times when you have a place that you put on your list to go to and it takes quite a long time to get there. And when you finally do get there, you wonder why on earth you haven't been there sooner. And this is one of those places. It's got a lot of clay in it, so take my time. Oh wow, well. that's a nice thing. I managed to get over this without falling over. I'll be impressed. much to explore all up this creek. Just here. Oh, it's moppy wind. Oh man, it's so nice. I could stop and take photos almost anywhere along here. Just point out, I do like to use my hands a fair bit when I'm uh, scrambling. So, I'm not always falling over where uh, it goes a bit skewed. Oh, nice. Oh, look at this. And this trek is all to get to what looks like quite an amazing waterfall. Not massive, I don't think, but beautiful so I think it'll all be worthwhile oh, just the scenery here is amazing I'm going to come back sometime and just I think work my way up the creek taking photos there's just there's scene after scene after scene along here. These massive boulders, these little cascades. Wait, look at this beautiful boulder here. Oh. Heaven. Heaven for everybody, but heaven in particular for photographers. my mum's gonna think when she watches this one. Oh this is a nice pool as well. So much beauty. We could be out here for eight hours Ooh. and uh, still have lots of photos left. Oh I love this. Be too much further. I think it's up that way. 
beautiful little waterfall. Oh, I'm not feeling massively confident about this tree. I mean, it's a piece of thing for a while. do is I'm going to take my backpack off and I'm going to go under there and have a look without anything uh, and work out where I want to take the photo from. Oh, it's beautiful. might be necessary though because look at that how beautiful is that oh, yeah. this would be a great spot for a swim on a hot day right, I'm gonna go back um, and then I'm gonna wander up onto this rock here and see what that looks like Oh, this is quite nice up here too, but I think I think the shot from the bottom is probably better. <laughs> right where that rock is, if that tree if that tree wasn't Oh, wasn't in the way. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, I think I'm going to start with taking a photo down here, waiting underneath. I'm finding this awkward to, to get a good photo of it. It just doesn't translate. It would be better with a drone, I think. This isn't too bad actually with the 16 mil. We've got a bit of the rock on the right hand side kind of leading the eye in, but then there's also a submerged um, tree trunk that you can see under the water, which helps to lead the eye to the waterfall. So yeah, it might not be too bad this one. So I'm taking it at different focus points um, as well to try to make sure that because I think this is an area where I don't want that front rock to be too out of focus. I think that will be distracting if it is. This is quite pretty this way, actually. This is really quite pretty. Ah, I'm taking a photo. There I go. Oh, these are big. Ah. Sorry, I'm getting distracted by the big spider that's on the wall there. 
<laughs> not, a, not a spider fan. Not a spider fan. It is magnificent here. I just it's hard to emphasize just how beautiful it is. I've not seen any pictures of this place that really do justice to it. Um, I've been here for probably, I don't know, about an hour and a half. And initially I went under those tree branches there to shoot through. But I actually think, ooh, I think it's actually nicer to view um, from back here. I mean, obviously it's a shame that that tree cuts across the waterfall there, but I think from further back, you get a better feel for the entire place and the, how big the cliffs are. You don't really get um, this feeling that you're, you're kind of tucked down at the bottom of a gorge from when you're further in, whereas I think you do further back. Now, I also did take some photos. Oops, over. Back, back this way, although it's not further back. I'm further back, so shooting down that way. And at the time, the light was, it was a bit earlier, so there was a bit more light coming through now. The, there was probably a bit cloudier, so it wasn't quite so harsh. But that looked really beautiful too. And there was a little bit of just kind of misty rain coming down, which made the background uh, a little bit misty, which was really nice. So I think I've got some nice pictures here. I've at the end decided to put my long lens, the 70 to 300 on and zoom in close at that top waterfall. because so I really like the tree that's right next to it. And I did get some nice light of that too. And then after doing that, I decided to do a vertical panorama with that lens. And then I kind of decided to do a kind of a two vertical column panorama with it. So I'm interested to see how that turns out, whether that gives a good feel of the place or whether the ones zoomed in are a bit better or whether the ones with the wide angle lens are better. I'll pop them all up now and let me know what your favourite is. very soon and uh, if I happen to take any photos along the way I'll put them up.
so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, check out this video just here that I did uh, from up at Springbrook last year. Last year? Last year. Yeah. Um, always love going up to Springbrook, although it didn't quite end the way I wanted. I'm going to head back to that waterfall sometime in the not too distant future.